Hello and welcome Gemini. Welcome to your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. It really does help the channel grow. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Gemini. The sign of the twins. What we do here is we will look or, or we will sort of divide your reading uh, slightly so it is easier to convey the messages and also easier for you to understand said messages. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months of March 2023 for the sign of Gemini before we then look into your emotional core and your emotional core for the most part will be whether or not there's healing that needs to happen or if there's love coming in Things on that front will be explored in that section. Uh, before we then lastly move on to opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of Gemini, in the month of Gemini, in the month of March <laughs> 2023 for the sign of Gemini. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, you are. Here we go. Just want to quickly reshuffle. And now we look at the overall energy for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Gemini and you have the energy of Aries which means act. So what that really means is the, the overall energy for Gemini this month is to be proactive, do things rather than try to plan things. You cannot control anything. <coughs> Trust your intuition. You have a great intuition. I know as the sign of the twin, sometimes it would be easier if you had someone else saying to you, like, yeah, I trust you, you can do this. <coughs> but here, with Aries as your energy, uh, symbolically, it is really, really important to trust that, you know, your intuition, your, your common sense is fully intact. But go for whatever it is you want to really have and achieve. Uh, don't sit there and hope it comes to you because you say pretty please. Right, please, 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 right, uh, pretty please, <laughs> go after what you want. And remember, I'm not mocking you, I just did that deliberately so you can see how easy it is for you to be a bit annoyed because likely you will be annoyed with yourself because sometimes you're procrastinating and it doesn't work for you, Gemini, right? So your overall energy is like act. Go for things you want to do and just have faith that things play out the way you wanted them to play out. So that's that. Now we're moving into your emotional core. And this is not so much about love coming in. This is about understanding that in any area that has to do with your true emotions. How do I truly feel? How do I share my emotions? Your, your topic for this month, your, your message for this month, your symbolism for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Gemini is authority. In short, what you need to do in order for things to run smoother, more smoothly, is literally be the authoritative figure or the authority figure that you know you can be. It is time to not allow people any longer to, I wouldn't necessarily say that they walk all over you, but once they know how to push your buttons, um, you probably are way too kind and you keep giving even though a part of you already knows this isn't going anywhere. And with regards to your emotional core, looking at maybe there's stuff that can go, maybe my relationship needs to run a little better, you have to be the authority here. You have to understand that anything that isn't quite working the way you want needs to be looked at. Okay, really, really important, Geminis. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023. You ready? Well, what you're being asked is when it comes to new beginnings, rather than blindly hoping for any new job will do, right? Any new this will do, any new that will do. Don't. Don't do that to yourself because the message here is for you to be immersive 
and to be fully involved in anything that denotes a change in your daily routine in the future, right? So when it comes to opportunities, uh, before you just latch on to anything because it might just be a little bit better than the one or the stuff that you already have, they ask them to be fully invested and ask yourself, what is it I really want to do? Where am I at this point in time in my life? And then focus on that energy and make things happen from a much more involved and direct point of view. That's all I got. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, so to speak, and for uh, visiting the channel um, and listening to, to the reading. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe and share. It does help the channel out massively. Um, and if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's all I got for this month. I hope I see you next month. Bye bye.